Now, last summer, skeleton racer Matt Weston considered quitting the sport for good after finishing 15th at the Beijing Winter Olympics. But now, a huge turnaround has seen him soar in St. Moritz, where he's just been crowned world and European champion. Matt's the first British man to win the world title for 15 years in a sport which he only started six years ago. We're going to chat to him in a moment, but first, let's see him in action. 140 kilometers an hour as he races away, destroying the opposition. It is going to be gold for Great Britain's Matt Weston. He is the world champion. Wow, nearly two seconds ahead. Well done. Well, there is the Barmy <laughs> Army who have come here to San Moritz and who wouldn't. And what a race. It's not a hundredth or two, it is a second or two, 1.7. <laughs> there is your World Championship podium. Look at the camera, Matt. You have to get used to this. You've had a few days to get used to it, Matt. How are you feeling? <laughs> uh, yeah, still pretty crazy, to be honest. Like, it hasn't really sunk in yet, the, uh, the feeling of what I've, what I've just done. And uh, I think it will be a few weeks yet until it does. I mentioned and I don't like to dwell on it, but I mentioned Beijing last year. I mean, it was a low point for you, wasn't it? Just just talk us through what happened. Yeah, I mean, it was really tough. I mean, any athlete who goes to the Olympics and it, it doesn't quite go their way, it's really, really emotionally tough on them. Um, it took quite a few months to, for me to get over, but I think um, the changes we've made this year and, and obviously some of the results I've produced this year have, have made a massive difference. And just watching those pictures of you last year, you can see how much slower you're going there compared to what you were doing last week. What made the difference? Uh, well, we've brought on new coaches and new, new equipment um, and that's made a massive difference. But I think that was almost the missing key for us. Uh, as a squad, we're pretty good at pretty much everything else it's just uh, we took a risk with equipment bringing a new sled out Olympic gear and obviously if it had gone well it would have been the best thing ever but it, it didn't quite go to plan but we've changed all that now but yeah I think uh, all of us as a squad we've been we've been able to produce these results before but just haven't been able to but now Everyone who went to the Olympics has, has come away with a World Cup medal so far this season, which is amazing. You must all be feeling brilliant. And I know your friends and family from Kent and Sussex were out there as well, which, which really helped. Yeah, I think they got nicknamed the Barmy Army, which is quite <laughs> funny. Um, no, it was absolutely amazing. For them to be there to share that moment with me is like, it almost makes this achievement even more special. You only took it up six years ago. Mm. But that, it, it's not something you can just take up as an amateur, this sport, is it? As you can see from the speeds you're doing there in training. Uh, no, it's, it's one of those where you have to, um, you get picked to try out for the sport. Um, and I did a, uh, uh, a talent ID process called Discover Your Gold, run by UK Sport. And you go and do loads of fitness trials and, and basically to see what you can do. And they send your results off to loads of different sports and skeleton thought, uh, this guy's got a couple of screws loose. He might be good at skeleton. Because <laughs> I remember you saying back when we first met you, nerves of steel is one of the things you need. You've obviously developed those, Matt. Um, uh, yeah. Well, you're, you're top of the world now, aren't you? And the next thing is presumably the next Olympics. Yeah, I mean, that's always on our mind. We sort of, as, as uh, an Olympic sport, we sort of go in four-year cycles. and We're already thinking about Milan and Cortina, but um, this year was meant to be a sort of get used to the new equipment, get used to the new coaches and the, and the fact that we've uh, produced such good results during that sort of teething phase is, yeah, I'm almost even more excited for the next Olympics. Oh, well, listen, we'll be following you, watching you all the way. Good luck. Thank you and very thanks much. Thanks for coming Thank in. You. Congratulations. Cheers. Right, to another remarkable sporting...